And again, pick one, pack one. I'll take it. How about an Inferno titty? Inferno is pretty good too. There, are, there is enough brown to uh, play Wildfire, but there aren't too many ways to get rid of lands. Hey, Pilot Evan, thank you for the 10 months. I guess you could go red-green Wildfire. Maybe if it wheels, we'll, we'll take it and play it. The only thing about mon forcing mono-white and mono-red, even, is that it's just super redundant. Like, once you've do done it once, you've basically done it all. Pretty easy bribery, question mark? I don't know. It's Bribery is not as good in this cube. You don't have as many big whammy targets, but I think it's still still good to take. Mm -hmm. To educate people that it is modern legal. Oakley dokely. Uh. Could take Scarab Jeezy, stay open. Immortal Sun's pretty good. I think Immortal Sun's actually pretty busted in this cube. Because Modern Cube is oftentimes just all about Planeswalkers. I think I'm going to take this very, very high. Planeswalker Bribery. Spire Bluff or Condescend. Let's bluff it up. This is a fine start. It's no Plow Under Snapcaster, but... Dude, Inferno Titan does not skip Arm Day. My god. Uh, there's a decent amount, yeah. Take Ob to follow up the Immortal Sun, perfect. Ooh. Mass Manips is pretty good. It's very slow. Yeah, Hostage Taker is good as well. I think there's a bunch of different routes that you can go with this particular pack. What card is the most powerful, the saddest one? I think Mass could wheel. It's probably between that and Taker. Yeah, okay, I'll try Hostage, that's fine. Abandon everything and take Utopia Sprawl, easy. Ral's pretty good, Nahiri's pretty good. Hero's pretty good. Pick one of these. I think I'm gonna go with the Nahiri. Act is fine. Riftwing. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Pact. Alright. Could have done it again, friends. The plow under's back. Also, Gideon's not terrible, but let's just go with Fix. Man, maybe I should have taken the green cards, huh? But we did wield a wildfire. Straight to the board with you. Uh, I'm gonna be straightforward. This is kind of bad. Not a great start. But, you know what we can do? We're in the perfect colors to pick up a little Sahili, maybe a Felidar, Kiki-Jiki, Resto Angels, Ellis Conscripts, and boom! Got yourself a full course meal. Okay, Nips Wield. That's a good side word card. No jury duty? Nice. Well, you turn their lands into creatures, and then you steal them. Like Nissa turned their land. Well, is Nissa only lands you control? The ball. All right, looks like I'm gonna really want to start taking those mana rocks now. I recall passing a Demir Signet, but Myro Spyro. Too many good cards, man. I'm gonna take Ugin, and it's gonna it's gonna suck. But here we are. Possible that the Immortal Sun is going to the side. Ugin's just too good. 
Ugin is an instant win in Modern Cube. Jason. Arid Mesa, nice. Gifts ooh given. <laughs> we need some rocks ASAP. Haven't seen too many. Just the Demir and that Selesnia, I think it was. There's a rock. Like a rock. Like a rock. Like a rock. Noble High Arc. Golos, too. Yo, Yoli Goli, Yolo Golo. It's probably way too late to start taking green cards. But I really want to take this Noble High Arc. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of Fight with Fire. All right, we'll see what happens here. Don't try this at home. <gasps> Mere Battle Sphere Urza? So much mana. Misty, perhaps? I don't know about this. What the balls? Gruel Signet, Gilded Lotus. Tree speaker, dude. I think Lotus is too slow. I'd rather take the signet or tree speaker. Ah! Oh. I'll take the signet here over Avison's Pilgrim. Just because it is better with Ugin and Wildfire. Okay, well, now we can get the Krasis back in, for example. Oh man. God, but I already passed like Kadama's Reach and Plow Under. <sighs> Sad days. Jeez, yeah. Look at this. Even Renin 6 wouldn't be awful, but we'll just take more ramp. Probably cutting the Heary at this point. Okay, maybe Golos is back on the menu. <laughs> I'm pivoting into a worse version of my previous deck. <laughs> yeah, legit, just a straight up worse version of my previous deck. Sure, I needed a black card, why not? I mean, we still have one more pack to go, so... It's not like the worst. Cultivate, Overhedron Archive, Mana Leak, Rashmi. Yeah, this is fine. Ooh. Some juicy lands, foothills, and tarn. Well, I guess I don't have any duels, but I already have two fetches. I'll take the foothills. Yeah, I might try another mono, non-basic stip later today. Maybe even after this draft, we can just try it again. Didn't work out very well yesterday, but it was indeed fun. Hollowed Fountain, or Farseek, Verdant. Watery Grave is not the worst. Ah, Farseek. I need some duels here. Not this duel either. Let's take Steve. I mean, if I took Overgrown Tomb, I could end up running the... The Garrick. I guess I... I guess my red is not good. Maybe I'm not even running red. Maybe I do take Overgrown Tomb here and just put the Garrick in the deck. And then I can also play Hostage Taker. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm actually, what? Wow, Sphinx was a huge... Oh, Prime Titties! No! God, Sphinx is so good, but I'm going to take the Titties. Wow, 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 Simic Signet. Sorry, Mystic. Okay, search for tomorrow. All right. Yeah, look how much green we got after taking it midway through pack two. I think this came together pretty nicely. 
Dude, just a random ass approach of the second son. <laughs> uh, Jace, nah, take the elf. I don't think I'm running the C Chrome in the Blooming. Uh, sorry, I don't think I'm running the C Chrome. I will be running the Blooming Marsh. Wow, 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 wow. Maybe cut Denny P now since we have the Ewit. Uh, I might be able to get away with 16 lands. Yeah, I might be able to get away with 16 lands here. I have four one drops. Six two drops. Yeah, I think I can get away with 16. So no Spire Bluff. No Arid Mesa. I'm, I don't think we're running Golos. The more I look at it, the more I'm liking cutting him. I don't think Mimic is good, though. Could just run Nips, but I guess Quad Blue is a little bit hard. I don't really have a good option, though, in its place. Yeah, it could just be Doomblade. It's not very exciting, either. But I guess my removal is a little bit lacking, except for my top end. Mimic copies the Titan if I already have Titan out. If I already have Titan out, I'm probably doing okay. This feels like a win more. Nullhide hurts me too much. I'm only running nine creatures right now. It's just the quad blue that's making me a little bit hesitant on the, uh, the mass nips. I think I will just run the blade. And we still run the footed. Okay. We're gonna try it. No Golos. No YOLOing today. Just don't think we can support the mass manipulation. We do have a lot of blue in our creatures, but not many blue lands. Just meh, huh? I think we ended up in a good spot, given where I started. Started from the bottom, now I'm still there. Nice. Plow and the Kadama's Reach. I think Kadama's Reach was a kind of a big, big loss. Do do do. Hey. Hi. All right, and turn three Tammy. Potentially. That's a lot of land. Sixteen land deck, by the way. Faithless looting, uh oh. It's usually a sign of like a combo deck. And they are in Jeskai, so they could be doing the Sahili nonsense. Urza, okay. Oh my god. Help! I didn't have anything else to get with the far seek that was relevant, so. Chat, you were right all along. I could cast mass manipulation so easily if I just drew all three of my Fetchers plus rebought one of them. Wow. The battle sphere. I just need one more piece of action here. I like a Krasis. Ooh, yeah, Krasis would be nice. Q. 
Well, kind of. Tammy is kind of action. Oh boy, OP, you get a look at my wares. <laughs> what, you didn't want to take any of these? You didn't want to take my rampant growth? Not very nice of you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are six lands left in my deck. <sighs> Nar said I can't even draw a card with Tammy anymore. Oh, they bricked though. That was good. I guess I locked down the freaking click so I can protect my Tammy. Four lands left in my deck? I need to draw Krasis. Oh god. No, wait. How many fetches? I have two fetches? Oh god, you're right. Oh boy. Later. See you later, Ewit. Well, now I'm going to lock down the red source again. I could minus three here. Let's do that. Ugin not in burn range. If, if Ugin minus had put him to three, I think I uptick, but... He's at four, so a burn spell doesn't really get me. If they had drawn on the red source. I am worried about a counter. Wah, 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 wah. I'm actually just going to return Ewit to my hand. I am worried about zealous conscripts. Zealous Conscript, Steel Ugin, minus six, lol. But now we have Ewit to get back, one of our Planeswalkers, if that should be the case. No, because they would kill the Ugin and I would get Ugin back. Ugin doesn't exile it himself. I know, I third picked the Immortal Sun. <laughs> just, just chilling over here. Don't mind me. Uh, two lands left in the deck. All right. Hill. Minus eight. Baby rage. This could be a wrath of some variety. No. No double white. Brawl's expertise. Okay. Cast something that's four or less. Nahiri. Okay. Well, they're dead on board. If I draw the last land in my deck, which is a fetch, oh my god. Alright, let's emblem. Just for good measure. Good thing the opponent was kind of mana screwed that whole game. I don't... God, I don't think bringing in the manipulations is worth it. This can't be correct. I just... Uh, don't... Uh, uh, uh. Alright, for you, chat. I'm not even going to bring in another island. I'm just going to throw it in the deck. How many islands are in the deck, Kenji? Four. How many do you need to cast mass manipulation? Four. But we also have Hierarch, we have the Mystic, we have the Signet... This is fine. This, however, is not fine. 
a little bit juicier. No! All right, let's run out the bait elf. The bait elf. You're not killing the bait elf? How dare you! Pyroclasm dead. All right, just don't kill the rattle. Just don't touch my elves. You can shoot the Draga if you want. I allow that. Good, good. Yes. Oh. No, they can't bounce. It doesn't work for... Wait, what? I mean, maybe this is correct if they're just going for combo. Maybe they just want to slow me down long enough to where they just get to win. Uh, excuse me. Champion! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get to ball them next turn. Our set and Thought Scour. Oh man. And then hopefully I get to draw like eight cards or seven cards with t t uh, Tammy next turn. Assuming nothing goes wrong here. What? Oh, they're. Wait, are they clicking me or themselves? Looks like they're looking, clicking me. No! Darn it. I mean, I still have an active battle sphere and they don't have. Currently, anything to stop it. One card in hand. That's not even that bad. Straight up. That's not even that bad. It just says for as long as it remains on the battlefield. I'm gonna wait a turn. They're going to play a Planeswalker now, and it's all going to be worth it. They're definitely not going to draw a Counterspell and punish me. Uh-oh, this is way too much mana. What the hell did they draw? No. It says as, as long as Sower remains on the battlefield. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Alright, that's funny. Oh, I do take a bit of damage here in the air. Actually, no. I might still need to take the flyers. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I can only steal two creatures here. I think we're still dead. Yeah. The flyers are going to kill me. No, because it just says as long as Sora remains on the battlefield. So even if I steal it, they would still keep the ball. Dang it. Well, it's tap. That's the super that's the super issue. Oh. I need to draw Ugin. Ugin would be insane. That doesn't matter. Oh yes it does. That kills me exactly. That kills me exactly. Of course it matters. No! No! Yeah, Ugin minus four and then have two battle spheres and win? Woof. Where did it all go wrong, Kenji? Did it all go wrong. I mean, even if they didn't draw anything good there, they would have uh, eternalized their champion of wits, drawn four, discard two, put me to one. Still in a pretty bad spot, regardless. Who will control the mirrors this game? No! Not like this! 
Mulligan for the loss, I guess. Oh, man, I want to keep this. What's the worst that can happen? Ha 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 Looter. I think I just take the looter now. You probably have animations turned on. If you go to the little cog in the bottom and turn off animations, like this is what it looks like with animations. Am I dead? They have the Sovereign. Not gonna lie, that's pretty nice. All right, hurry up and cast this uh, looter. Let's see if they animate their wandering fumeral. They did not. They had a good line. They had a good line. But not today, Satan. They can still win this game, obviously, but... <laughs> You're right, that was sax-worthy. How did I not sax that? You don't want to return the hostage-taker? Rude. What happened? The opponent gave me the GG because they went Sahili into Felidar when I was tapped out. I don't think they were being mean. Chat gets all angsty when somebody preemptively GGs, but... There was no ill will from them. Well, well, well. Get back my little pact. Misplay, because I could have hit him for one more damage. I'm actually supposed to tap down the looter. As, uh... I don't want to give him an extra card. And I'm at 22, so it's not like them hitting me. Even with the full amount of the battle spheres lethal. Jabated! <laughs> uh, that was a satisfying pact, though, for sure. Oh, I think so. Again, I think they were just excited. I don't think they were being rude at all. Whoa, I have the authority. Okay, thank you very much. And so do, like, ten of the people in the chat that I randomly choose. That's how it works. You call this a video game? Excuse me? You need to leave. You need to leave right now. Down with the mods? Is that what you just said, Fushi? Well, well, well. Fushi, did, little did you know. Little did you know. Ha, <laughs> got him. Now Fushi's a mod. Idiot. God. <laughs> Says, wait a minute, we're playing against Reed? What the heck? Why is Reed playing cube? I don't think I've ever seen him play cube before. Beater Brossom. Um, 
Down with the sickness. Get to Battle Sphere next turn. Aggro. I have for that. I have a Ferrix, but again, Ferrix is kind of ugh in my deck since I have so many non creature spells. What up, what up? Colagon's Command. What other ways? I mean, they have plenty of black removal too, potentially. I don't have a good sideboard versus aggro. I could... I could, in theory, wildfire plus Inferno Titan from the board. That would be cute. Good, maybe no, but cute, yes. Bonfire for one. That's pretty tasty. All right, I'm going to take five here, go to 11. <laughs> this member, what is this draw? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just losing to the Bitter Blossom now too. Yeah, Ugin. Ugin's looking juicy. I'm going to be a little bit low, though, by the time Ugin resolves. I would be, I guess, seven's not that bad, depending on what he le what's left in his hand. Two, four, five. It's definitely a sketch. Ugin off the top. Come on, baby! Tim Tam, okay. So. I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, cultivate and Tamio tap down the 2-2. Two -two. Because I can still draw a bunch of cards next turn as well. Alright, so let's see how he scries. Top would be... bad. A Pirates and Part-Time Fairies? Thanks for the two months. He did top. Uh-oh, he likes it. Am I dead? Four damage burn spell. Hold the baby, please. He attacks with all the fairies, and I survive. Tamio gets to draw four cards, so... Hold that baby. Little baby. Okay, well, I'm assuming we're not dead then, because he didn't just immediately kill me. So that's that's the good news. We're not just dead. The bad news is he topped something. Okay, so he's only attacking for two. Aha, so I get to draw three cards here. Yeah, I think I just have to start off by drawing three cards. And then drawing two off of the archive if I whiff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, shoot. If I pop the archive, I can't. All right. We just need to. I think I start off with the Hedron archive, though, to see what I hit. But bribery could just win here. Uh, what does Ewit get me? Nothing. Okay.
Give me the goods. If he concedes, then we know that he has something. Oh, Cheney! Dick Cheney! <laughs> uh, shotgun blast to the chest. He doesn't have any artifact creatures, yo. Right. If he tops again, we're probably dead. He bottomed. That's a good sign, chat. But yeah, but he... I, what? He only has four damage on the board, chat. He can't give any of... The, these are not artifacts. He can't pump those. Alright, here we go. Upkeep. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Okay, it's not a snap keep, whatever it is. It's not a snap keep. That's probably a good sign. It doesn't matter. What is he going to do with treasure chat? He can't. Th those don't do anything. He only has four damage on the board right now. I should have looking. I should have taken a look at his the rest of his deck, the non creature spells. I swear to God, if he just tank, tank, tanks and tops. <laughs> okay, he bottomed. He bottomed. Don't you spoil this. Yes, th this does not shoot the artifacts. And again, he cannot pump either of these creatures. He can make these unable to block. Okay, that doesn't kill me. That doesn't do it. So in theory, he could get back Legion. Wait. No, that does do it. No, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. I still, I'm still at one. Oh, or, no, no, no. I could block, block. I would go to two. Because he'd have to sack all the treasures to get the war boss back, which means he can't make something unable to block. Wait. No, I'm at one. I'm at one, and we win. Oh god, that is close. That is close. Remember, you have to pay mana to sack artifacts. Yeah, we saw Glory Banger. Or, what? I called it Glory Banger because everybody calls it Glo Glory Bringer. Also, what is this face? You keep posting this. Because even if he doesn't attack with both flyers, I have Tammy to tap down one of the flyers, and then the glory, glory, hallelujah. Easy, baby, GG. Sweet, sweet victory. Correct. Whip is only sorcery speed. Or at least on your turn, at the very least. Yeah, sorcery. Judge! Slow play! Ooh, did they just print it? Oh, wait, no. The Turtle Hydro was the card that uh, was already revealed in, uh, from the Brawl decks, right? If that's what you're talking about. Oh, wait. He's going to Tammy. Right? It's all attacking Tammy. Yeah. Now we can look at the rest of his deck too. All right, Eldest Reborn, Rakdos's Return, Koth, Firecraft, Dreadboard, Doomfall, Chandra. Got him. We needed a fade one top deck, and fade we did. Game one to the good guys. That's me. I'm the good guy. Is bribery good enough, though? 
Like, yeah, I can hit Glorybringer, but I don't know if that's good enough. Nissa might be too slow. I think we bring in Brawl as just a 1-3 blocker. It's true, the Chain Whirler was insane. I really want to bring in the Titty and the Wildfire. Garrett gains life, right? Yeah. Oh, even just a 3-5 might be okay. God, Ferex is just so awkward, though. No, mass manipulation is too poor. I do think cutting the pact is okay. I'm going to cut the bribery, I think. Maybe even Tammy. Like, she was good that game, but I don't think normally she's going to be all that impressive. Hear me out, chat. Hear me out. Spire Bluff Canal. Mountain. Wildfire. 41. The mad lad's doing it. Uh, shoot, I should have added one more mountain. I needed to add one more mountain. I needed to add one more mountain. Because now I can't cultivate for a second red source, or far seek for a second red source. This member? Yeah, Golos can get the uh, the Spire Bluff, but... Oh, come on! Is it turn 4 prime time? It was only one of my artifacts that I cut. The non-mana producing, or non-color producing mana I cut. <sighs> this exiles too, so I don't even get to E-Wit back. You just had to say it like that. Then I knew you were talking about. Alright, titty gone. I don't get to Ferex next turn. Search isn't off suspend. Oh, there it is! There's the second red source! We did it! <laughs> just draw Golos easy! Actually, I don't even need all that red anymore, or blue anymore, do I? Oh god, Golos into drawing Wildfire, GG. Please, one time. No! That was the land I was gonna tutor for! Yeah, well, I assume this is just going to die. I do have a Sle Oh, I do have a Selesnia Signet. I didn't take out the Signets. I only took out the Mind Stone. Also, Rattleclaw produces... No. No, never mind. Do I have a Noble Hierarch? I don't think I have a Hierarch, do I? Maybe I do. Yes, I do. I do have a Hierarch. I have a Hierarch that can produce white. I just need to find one of my bombs now. Like Ugin, Krasis would be great. Wildfire, Titty of the Inferno variety. Boop. Wildfire wins on the spot. A random, random Cognomen. Thank you for that five months. Koth of the Hammer. Oh, he targeted the summoning sick one. That doesn't matter though. I'm going to guess. I think Ugin wins less than... Uh, than wildfire would.
Yeah, might as well. If he doesn't kill the Battle Sphere this turn, then uh, we can ping Koth. Because I can't let Koth ultimate here either. I have one white source. It is Selesnya Signet. Sorry, two. And Noble Hierarch. But I have no land sources of white. We ain't going to a game three. We're winning right here. Don't you wanna, Mama Chandra? Add red, uh-oh. Bonfire for one again? It is, isn't it? Dang it. Mm, all right. Wildfire, again, wins on the spot here. I summon you, fire and flame. Is it white? Uh, I can't sack and still wildfire because I can't cast non creature spells. Darn it. Well, this was a sideboard inclusion just because it's big and hard to deal with for him. So I'm going to take two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Wildfire still technically wins here. Actually, no, because he, he would ping the Battle Sphere instead. Five, six, seven. It's a close game. It is. I have a lot of power on the board, but none of it tramples. I mean, if he didn't have Bitter Blossom, then the Ferex would have already killed him. I can. That, that's what I have to do. I have to pay two for Ferex, cast Signet, activate Golos, and hope it hits. All right, there's the emp. Oh, he's just going to shoot down the Golos. Okay. All right. I think I preserved the one life. Yeah, both of my red spells are lethal. Get pinged for one. Oh, he forgot to ping! <gasps> Reed messed up! He forgot to ping me for one end of turn. Would he have killed me? All right, I'm going to thin out the deck. Might as well. Oh, Krasis would also be an insane draw. Wildfire, Ugin. Wildfire, Ugin. Titan, Krasis. Garrick, maybe? He does get to shoot down the Ferrix, though. It doesn't it doesn't actually win win. He's not dead. I have to attack the Chandra here. It was a good draw at surviving, yes. But it's not a win. I have to attack the Chandra. Well, actually, if I attack face, he pings me for two. No, I have to attack Chandra. All 
I'm pretty sure this is correct to attack Chandra. I got a five. I think he's not going to block now, and he's just going to go for the kill. Oh, I'm actually rather surprised at that block. Yeah, I'm surprised he blocked there. Because now he has to draw a red source, or a mountain rather. Or another burn. Ah! Gave me a chance, but I couldn't capitalize. Oh, the titty. Damn it, the titty. All right, well, let's just hope he doesn't have turn two Bitter Blossom again. Also, I'll be on the play, finally. Yeah, I need to add another mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Still going with 41. Actually, island out for Sea Chrome Coast. There you go. There you guys go. There you guys go. Damn. 41, five colors versus red, black aggro. <laughs> oh, why so many expensive cards? Oh, what the hell? You guys are smoking crack. Go get my dang overgrown tomb here. Look at that. We already have two red. All right. Please don't have the bitter blossom. Okay. Looks like we might be playing a slower game here. This ain't your arena, Reed. You don't get a free 1-1. One -one. This ain't your mama's arena, Reed. Everything is hard to cast now. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Storm count three. All right, I have so many powerful cards. Let's draw them. I just got chewed. That was really gross, but Crisis here was a great draw. Oh no! <laughs> if I could only have made it a five five. Ugh. Maybe he kills it, I don't know. Holy God, the dreams. Dreams do come true. He had a hero's downfall last game, or game one. He didn't pop, or he didn't treasure map upkeep. Did he top something? He did, okay. There's Big K Man. So he must have a removal spell for Krasis. Oh, Jesus! Are you kidding? God, dude! No! No! Why me? There was time! Uh, I don't even think I can aff- I don't even think wildfiring is good for me. Oh no. Uh, I don't think it's good for me for the record. Ah. 
The Chewer! It's so bad, though, because he still has the map. Well, if I'm not wildfiring, I shouldn't have attacked. I'm gonna wait one turn, but I think we're just dead now. Ugh. He was already gonna gonna get to flip the uh the cove. <laughs> uh, that is almost God, if I had if I had this last turn, if I had drawn this last turn, oh my god. No, because now he has all the red open. Oh, I needed to have drawn it last turn and I might have won. It doesn't work, chat. It doesn't work. Because he has an active Koth emblem. I need him to tap out of red for some reason. Like main phase. Yeah, that's probably game. Alright. GG. Yeah, the truer was OP. The ingot chewer. It killed my, uh, what do you call it? Hedron archive. <laughs> Flat wonder doesn't do anything either. Uh, sure, sure. Elder spell one as well. Well, the ingot chewer was the start of it, because the ingot chewer also made my crisis, uh, smaller than wildfire could get under. Like, if I had gone, even if Krasis was just a 5-5, five five, if I had gone Krasis on 5 or 6 into Wildfire, that was almost certainly game 2. It's alright, chat. He clearly just had to have the perfect card every single game that he won, so... <laughs> it's a win in my book. When it top-decked perfectly. We were so unlucky. I played extremely well. That's, that's... I think you all saw it. I think y'all saw it. <laughs> he punted one damage away, and we still lost the game. Oh no! Skuller, please. Oh no. Oh, wait. I guess they just have a way to deal with bribery already. Ah, uh, yes. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> if you missed it when Reed and I teamed up for the uh, Twitch Rivals, that was also another fun one people talk about. <laughs> Where I'm yelling at him. Can't even Doomblade that. Reed, what are you doing? You just gotta play. <laughs> no, no good. I hope they have a mana tithe here. Oh, resto the uh, the skulls. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not even gonna show them. Well, that was. A beating? Run it back. They even have the good creature do it, to do it with too. They have six mana, they can Skuller, and then with the Skuller on the stack, or the trigger on the stack, resto it and permanently exile something. <laughs> it's 
So I'm just gonna level up the tree speaker and play out the Rattle Claw Mystic normally next turn. Do do do. Elective. Wow. And that's the nuts. I just got rid of four mana. Oh my god. That had to be like the best card there. Yikes. <laughs> that was so demolished. Here comes, I'll scoop to Lily. Okay. It is karma. <laughs> the Nixilis. R.I.P. in pieces. Dang, that was a... We got completely demolished. A sad way to end it. A sad way to end it indeed. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.